guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here and Ari himself. Morning all. Morning all. We're off down to uh, Shepton Mallet, which is a long way west of Bournemouth. Um, even past Dorset, I don't know if we're in Dorset or not, or Somerset, somewhere like that. Anyway, um, it's the provincial um, classic car auction. I think there's 40 cars. About, yeah, 40, Harry. 41 cars. Yeah, and uh, so we're interested in a few little cars there, see if we can see anything that we like. No stags, unfortunately. But uh, I think there's a couple of MGs that uh, you're interested in, yeah. Harry. There's a few interceptors, things like that. Yeah, and a Morris Minor or something. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, yeah, we're on the way there. It's been a good hour and a half drive from sunny Bournemouth. It's not so sunny today. Uh, really interested to see what it's going to be like. And uh, let's go and have a look. Harry the Stag. Definitely out the sticks here, Harry, aren't we? Yeah, that's a classic car show as well. <laughs> I so know. I think Vast amount of cars in the car park for 40 cars. We're wondering if there's a show on as well. So we'll soon find out. All right, guys, so we're very pleasantly surprised, actually. I hadn't realised it was going to be this big. Just look at all these cars here. Some fantastic examples um anything from cortinas to lotuses uh, various different types we thought there was only going to be 40 cars here there's a triumph off on its travels i don't know if the auction's starting now but uh, it is very shortly right in front of us we've got a nice green r reg looks like a mark ii very tidy some american star ones over there harry's just having a wander around mg looks like a mustang um, yeah, incredible. Five litre V8 apparently. GT, Mustang GT. Looks very nice. Right hand drive too. In a rather loud yellow. The Triumph Spitfire 1500. Looks very smart. Cortina, Jaguar. Loads of cars. Really impressive. Harry's just off to buy a ticket. I think I might be serious about buying some MGs. We shall see. F Reg Triumph. Tidy. Up together. And it's a TR4A IRS, Independent Rear Suspension, I think that stands for. Original. So having gone from thinking there's no stags here at all, actually there's quite a few. This one's for sale as well, on an N-Reg 74, I would guess, and various phone numbers to ring. Not sure if it's in the auction or just here for sale, but uh, looks fairly up together. So very nice Jensen Interceptor here. Um, these cars aren't driving through, they're literally just selling them off the stage with a photograph, so we won't be able to see too much of them, but this one looks um, pretty tidy. And a uh, decent looking engine. Nice looking car. I think the guide price was about 40,000 quid. Uh, you can see why. Immaculate. And these were the MGs that uh, Harry was half interested in. Um, a barn find pair. 
we've um, missed the auction unfortunately. They went for about 1300 quid, I believe. So, again, you might be able to make one car out of the two if you were lucky. Don't know what they're like inside, so a quick look. Yes, previously owned, I think it will be fair to say. Complete, which is good. Um, and this one doesn't look too bad actually, to be fair. I know it looks crummy, but that would clean up quite nicely, I reckon. And uh, with a bit of effort, you never know your luck. This one's got wire wheels, um, doesn't look bad. Again, it's been stored in the same barn, but it looks a bit inside, probably less complete. Um, well, there may be some complete bits in there, but they're all jumbled up together. But <laughs> yeah, probably between the two, you might make something out of this. But um, I'll just show you this very brave project around the corner. Looking at this one over here, you'd have to have a, a big commitment to make this happen, I think. Uh, yes, a Jaguar originally. Not quite sure what. Guide price for four to five thousand pounds. 1949 Jaguar Mark V 3.5 L saloon project. Uh, there's no engine. Uh, and there's not too much interior either, looking at the rust and the roof collapsing around our ears. You'd have to be very brave to take this one on, I reckon. And this little Morris Minor Harry was kind of half interested in. We've um, unfortunately missed the start of the auction. It went for a thousand pound, which isn't bad actually. It's been the same family since new. Um, yes, it's a bit rusty, but uh, inside is quite nice. Uh, very original. It is an honest classic, I think. If you look in there, it's kind of quite nice, isn't it? And this is an interesting one. Harry was talking to me as we came down today. It's a RS Escort, but as you can see on the back, RS 9000. It's got nitrous oxide and a parachute on the back, in that pack. And a very nice MGC Roadster in very good condition. Uh, significant investment. Guide price 19 to 21,000. So uh, that's the going rate of an MGC these days. Tidy though, up together. And uh, 1969, I would have wager on a G plate, maybe 1970, but it's a good looking motor. Yeah. Is it MG? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little advertising there, wasn't it? It's got a Sebring set up. Yeah. Roll over bars and interesting detail on the on the bonnet. A lot of these are for sale, even though they're just parked. Um, Austin A35, quite tidy, quite dinky these little cars. There's more space in those than you think there is actually. Harry's half interested in this by the looks of it. <laughs> Smart, isn't it? Yeah. Your mother being pleased. About 14 grand, something like that. Is it? Nice XK8. How's that for an Oldsmobile? Look at this chrome on this thing. <clears throat> and there's 
the stag leaving the uh, premises. Nice hard top though. Different wheels on it. Interesting TR. Very high off the ground. Got some massive uh, springs on it by the looks of it. Beautiful E type, lovely colour, metallic blue, V12. Love the mohair hood, that's smart. Black interior, very nice. Ford Falcon, okay. What V kind of 299? Quite an iconic design, isn't it? <laughs> Very cool. Alright guys, well uh, that was a Sunday invested down, yeah. <laughs> down in, in Shepton Mullet, a little bit different, um, as you would have seen the auction was fairly low key, cars not going through, um, there's one not or two, hidden. not hidden, <laughs> so that was good, And uh, but it was interesting having a look around the um, various kind of tray counters and stuff wasn't it, we had a, yeah. a very nice healthy lunch of a, of a burger and chips, so uh, life can't be bad, good stuff, anything else you want to say Harry? get back before we get in trouble yeah well yeah always a good move for Ali the Nag and others and Chloe Clutch yeah yeah don't forget that good okay guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon very soon cheers guys all the best bye bye